Thanks, Anna. Yeah, 22 years, as you said, the longest for the Proud Boys. There have been a few Proud Boys through the courts. On every occasion, the prosecution has been seeking longer sentences than they got. That's certainly the case this time. They wanted Enrique Tarrio put behind bars for 33 years. They've got two-thirds of that. In terms of what the judge, Timothy Kelly, had to say, he said this, responding to Tarrio's apology in today's closing statements. He made an apology, a wide-ranging apology to law enforcement officials that, with whom Proud Boys came into contact on the 6th of January, among others. But in terms of what the judge said about that, uh, he, said, he said he was glad to hear Tarrio's apologetic statement, but he said he found his remarks lacking. I'm quoting the judge now. He said, I don't have any indication that he's remorseful for the actual things that he's convicted of. And he called Tario's statement better than nothing. It's clear, he said, that he was a leader of a seditious conspiracy that threatened the transfer of power. And that was what this case was about, Anna. Tario and a handful of others, key organisers of the Proud Boys, around 200 who were in the vanguard of the January the 6th insurrection in an effort, allegedly, to stop the transfer of power to Donald Trump. Tarrio cited Donald Trump as his inspiration. His lawyers said that he shouldn't be scapegoated. Well, I tell you, that argument surrounding Trump and him being an inspiration to others will play out in the very same court building when Donald Trump himself returns here for a criminal trial, trial in some months' time.